Let me tell y'all something about the internet. It really be having me messed up because the only thing I can think about right now, charge your lunch is ready. So let's hop straight into our sponsor, Icy Hair. They sent over this beautiful bust down M shape wig. It is perfection. So let's get into it. This is how it came. It came in a shopping bag, but off inside is a box. It's pink, it's gold, it has silver glitter on the side. But let's talk about what's in the inside. There's a bunnet in here. I really, really love this bunnet. I love the band on it. They put you a HD and a regular wig cap. There are lashes that I absolutely love and I will be putting on later. There's information about their TikTok in here. You have a band to wear it glueless, although it come with a band. This is the black one. There's also combs in here because you can adjust the combs this is straight it is 26 inches this is the most innovative wig i've ever received the closure is absolutely amazing it is nine by six which is huge it has the tiniest knots ever that are already bleached it is pre-plucked and the lace is pre-cut so right here what you're seeing is the largest lace achievable on a pre-cut wig which is nine by six removable combs to meet different needs the most attentive ear shape design 3d cap design that makes the lace lay flat and snug on the hairline there is also an adjustable band in it already their tag is at the back a comb is at the back so it will fit snug this wig is so bum guys i mean oh my gosh i can't believe how bum it is so let's get into the install of course i'm gonna tint the lace with my foundation i get it good on my brush and just tint the lace so when i take my pictures and etc there's not a flashback just like with makeup guys so we're just gonna put it on and this fits so freaking snug oh my gosh it fits so snug it this is like perfect like i'm just gonna brush through it and you can just go i am absolutely loving the just put them on and go type wigs because y'all know i'm lazy and don't like to do all at work like look at that what look at those tiny knots look at how good it's plucked how snug it is look I could just go just like that but we're gonna pin it up and i'm gonna glue it down of course because i gotta go to the spa and everything and i just want to make sure i can look good and it stay on so i'm gonna start with a wax stick basically what i'm doing is just flattening everything out so i can see what i'm doing and adhere it down this closure is extremely big i mean like the most achievable on a pre-cut wig which is the nine by six so i marked it so i know where to put my gel and I use the got to be glue gel just to adhere the wig to my head. I am drying it with a regular fan. I will link everything I use to adhere this wig below the video. And I'm just going to press this into my hairline. I didn't even have to do this, but I love doing this anyway on my wigs just because I'm a wild gal and I like them to stay on. Okay, I won't be taking them off. So there was a red adjustable strap in the wig to wear it glueless but they did send a black one in case you're scared that red one is going to show or something but i did keep it on i had no problems out of it and it did not show look at the ear tabs guys that's the most annoying part on a wig but this wig has a custom ear shape design to where it don't bother your ears and hurt so we're going to go in with the even spray i use this to put um to melt my lace in the glue was to adhere the wig to the head the spray is to melt the lace in of course we're going to go in with a good old dry with this but while that's drying i'm going to go in with the wax stick again and brush back i love my stuff flat flat no helmet head no comb head no wow girl no messy girl look no we want flat flat over here and this week man i cannot stop talking about how great this wig is so they put lashes in my box. I'm going to put on that pair right there. Voila. <laughs> Let's get back into the hair install, guys. It really isn't much to do because this wig is almost perfect. But I am going to take my foundation again, thin it out, 
kind of dry it out a little bit so it's not so liquidy and then I'm gonna go around the hairline again and blend that lace in like it really needed it like what look baby I had to stop the fast forward this looks so good oh my gosh so it looks so good right as I continue to flat the wig out let's talk about it a little bit more this is the M cap wig and let me tell you the advantages of it it really is a 3d cap design and it makes it lay flat and it has removable combs so you can adjust so you can just have the perfect wig I will leave the link to icy hair below clearly it is really bum they have payment options and I have a discount code click below the video thank you icy hair for sponsoring this part of the vlog. Hey y'all, it's your lit auntie, the one that looks just act too young for her age, but I'm still real, real lit, honey. We're about to start a new vlog, obviously, so let's get it going. I have a lot of stuff to do, guys, and I have decided to stop looking at my calendar ahead of time and just look the day before to prepare for the next day so I don't get overwhelmed, okay? So I don't know what's gonna happen in this vlog. I just know we got a lot of stuff to do. So, yeah, look at my earrings. They are a Mahi collection. I love these earrings. I also got them in this. It's like a cream color. I haven't worn those yet, but y'all know I love me some Mahi collection. So, check her out. Um, she also sent me these. I showed them in my Christmas vlog, but I never hauled them. These are all her new pieces. Um, here's another one, which these are different. But, you know, they're the same. they're different but they're the same and she sent over a bracelet so i'll make sure i link these below in that like animal print kimono and that all white like beach wear gown thing i got it from her as well so i will make sure i leave her below check her out before we go any further let's go ahead and discuss this perfume tray which is going to be the exact same tray as my last vlog almost because i went to houston in my last vlog so i only took two bottles so let's just talk about it last week this tray last vlog this tray had a little bit of dossier ambery saffron, saffron on it i used it all so it's trash it had a little bit of gentle fluidy gold on it i used it all so i threw the bottle in the trash and it was something else i took off here so i thought but maybe not so the only two things i got to using was Burberry Goddess, which you guys know I love that. So I'm gonna take that off, and then I also got to use this YSL, which dried down beautifully and lasted three, four days. And I knew that because I put it on the outfit I wore out of town, and I put the outfit on to come back home, and it was still going strong in that outfit. So I'm gonna add two more things to this tray, and I'll be back. But I'm gonna list um all of this below. But I'm going to add two more things. So, um, Clive Christian Crab Apple Blossom. Still on here. Say No War by Beyonce. It's still on here. Which I did take with me to Houston. So, maybe I should take that off. Because I took the little one and it did its thing. It did its thing. And this is another dossier. Golden Rum and Amber. It sort of kind of smells like Gentle Fluidy Go. That's what they look like. This is Talia by Tiziana Terenzi. And I'm going to add Miss Girl by Oksha. Love this. Oh my gosh. It smells like Baccarat and Tom Ford Lost Cherry Mix. And I'm going to add Grand Sword. This has been going viral on TikTok. And I got it. But y'all, you, you can have stuff and not understand the hype behind it. Does that make sense? So I'm going to try to see if I can get to the hype behind it. I mean, I like it, but girl, TikTok is making it seem like it's so good. Uh-oh. But girl, TikTok is making it seem like it's going to get you eight all night. So let's test these out this week and let's get this vlog on. Also, we're going to take these off. I put these nails on before Christmas, like three days before Christmas. Girl, it's almost Valentine's Day. I mean, I'm over exaggerating. Um, yeah, but it's way past the new year. It is technically the fifth today of January. So what that will make it two weeks almost. I ain't budge. I done went swimming. A whole bunch of stuff. I done been to Cancun. I done been to Houston. And the same thing. <laughs> oh, no, I can't 
me show y'all I'm ashy. Oh, I'm too ashy. Then I'm, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Y'all know I got some press on toenails on. I was talking about in um, Cancun. And they still on, too. They very much still on. Y'all love them. So, I'll link them below. They came from Shein. Chat, it was just like a dollar. But make sure it's going to be hard. You get some of this Beauty Secrets glue. This is not the one that's all over TikTok. The one that's all over TikTok has a red pen right here. That's the only difference. It's a cloud proof container. It's the exact same formula. So if you can find this one, get this one. And yeah, so we're going to do our nails. I'm not going to do my toes over because they're still pretty good. And it's the winter time anyway. So most of my stuff is closed toe. Um, and yeah, this is actually a swimsuit I got on, y'all. I, I wouldn't feel confident wearing it like to the beach or nothing though. So I just put it on to do the intro and the outro to this video in my last video so i'm hungry i want to go get something to eat i kind of want to go go but like a couple of days ago i want the trill burger that beef i ain't fully digested yet that's that's why i don't like to eat beef i don't it hasn't digested yet it's so harsh on my system it's so harsh on anybody's system but especially me being that I'm recovering from having parasites and etc. So I'm trying not to eat anything too harsh until that digests out. I might have to detox it out. So I should have detoxed it that same day. It's like at my big grown age, I be acting like I don't know nothing. And, and that's concerning. <laughs> what you just say to me? Charles. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Netta girl. I don't even know what she got. Whoa. What? Hold on. So, what? <sighs> yeah. I'm headed to an event. It is 109 and I need to be at the house at least by 120. What the fuck? My skirt won't button. Keep getting stuck. I have on a two piece, it's like a twill tennis skirt with um, a jacket that go to it. I think that'll look better on the side. It's giving you guys saw it in my last try on. I hate the way this smells. It smells like it's been in a closet a long time. Yeah. This will be cute with the Chanel, but I'm going to take this coach bag, or should I? Just realize I'm nailless, so. Mama is going to have to put some nails on real quick. Cause baby, they don't look right. Uh, yeah, I know why I'm rushing, right? Cause I almost changed my mind. I wasn't gonna go. But I RSVP for this. So I ain't finna waste no slots. Oh my gosh, I wasn't gonna go. Go call in the work, yeah. It's that middle finger, yeah. I I'm doing this backwards. I just. This sound like something crawling on my roof. Y'all heard that? I can't do the full shebang to make these stay on. Like drill them and all that. Cause I gotta go. But she gotta put some nails on, honey. I'm gonna cut this camera cause my last vlog, girl, I was just letting the camera run. Oh, that make editing so hard. Like real top. Yeah, just look how darling these are for two dollars. Like what? Was she in? Crab apple blossom. 
put a hat on because I don't feel like dealing with this lace, honestly. I'm going to spray this heavily based on the scent that, based on the fact that I just said this jacket has a weird scent to it. I'm going to put on a little bit of this mascara too. She done had one too many drinks. Y'all, I'm drunk. All the drinks are just strong. They're strong. The margarita, whatever it's called, it, it didn't taste like alcohol. Normally, if the drink tastes like alcohol, I just leave it alone. But no, I was sipping. It tastes real good. And baby, it done kicked my ass. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat something because I'm scared. She's scared, y'all. Oh, your food there. And I almost started crying. Oh, my food. Yeah, she almost started crying. <laughs> I'm gonna drop this phone one more goddamn time. Yeah, my screen cracked and everything. Life just don't want to be. Life just be life. Man. You don't want some trouble. Hey, baby! How you doing? Yeah, you look so pretty. <laughs> you see, you say hey. Hey. <laughs> say hey. <laughs> y'all put y'all headshots. <laughs> It's Shay at the trunk, y'all, down there. Look out. <laughs> y'all, they gonna kick us out of SDK. <laughs> hey, guys! Hey, 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 Come on, Jesse! Yeah! I wanna rock with you. Y'all, I was so drunk. Okay. Y'all, I was so drunk today. It was an accident. I had one drink and I felt myself in tipsy. And next thing you know, I was crying. Look at her. I wanna hide. And crying behind some black hair. No, do it again. <laughs> what was your name? Yeah. They say she's the keeper. Yeah. And Rich on level. Yeah. Yeah. That event was too fun. Got to meet some people. Have a 
was a nice little old time. I didn't eat because before I left the house, I was having a rough stomach day because I ate Taco Bell last night. <laughs> Who do I think I am? So I'm gonna call my dad and see if he wants something to eat. And I'm gonna get to the house and I'm gonna do a hair review so that I can answer y'all questions. Which I don't even think I should answer them now because a lot of people come asking, are you gonna move on? Are you gonna move on? Are you ready to date? Are you, are you gonna let them come back? And I answered all that in my last vlog. That was the questions I was getting over and over and over and over and over and over. <laughs> so let's get to the house. I'm gonna do a hair review real quick so we can get this money. Maybe not when I get to the, straight when I get to the house. Or yeah, because if I sit down, I'm gonna be laying in that bed. Baby, I'm gonna stop and got me some fuel city. Okay, All right, guys, I ended my last vlog saying that most of my cars are here. I'm super excited about that. I think 12 of them came. I was still waiting on six. Maybe here go three more. Down to need three more. I need my social security card, Shug's social security card, and my main bank card. That's it. I never cancel my main bank card. I just locked it so that I can unlock it and use Apple Pay if needed. But I'm gonna have to go and get that replaced. So, so um, oh, I almost fell. Let me take this thank ass jacket off and eat, y'all. Y'all want some of my food? Y'all know what Fuel City look like—the number one taco spot in the DF Dub. I act like I'm on a commercial. Let me eat just that quick, y'all. I had to get real comfortable to eat. Bye, baby, baby. Look at this god dang cilantro. I hate when they do that. I need to just start saying no cilantro. Because, baby, I didn't ask for a salad. Y'all know I put y'all in my business. And I'm very transparent with everything that's going on with me. So, I want to ask y'all. Back to what I was saying. Because you guys know I have been carrying this divorce um good because we are divorced and no separation but um i want if one of you guys if you're a therapist or something like that hear me out because i'll be ready to spaz i'm not spaz oh i hate it for it to sound like that but when the car was leaving she broke down and told me how low she was and said that she needed to go to an in-house facility like she was just at that point right so when I was leaving Houston, leaving Trill Burgers, she had her intake. And so I was like, so how did it go? And she was like, well, I'm not going to go to a facility. And I'm like, huh? Like, it confused me. And I was like, well, why not? She was like, because the therapist told me that since I love to work and I need to be active and I'm worried about bills and stuff, that she think that it's smart, um, a good idea because Nicole didn't, she worked a job job and then I think I had told y'all that she had started delivering for a company so she moved that delivery job to Nashville so she is still working and so um she said the therapist was like she think if I stop working or I sit still in the in-house facility it'll take me lower so she recommended that I just come see her or tell her doc her let me make sure am I dirty because I'm cleaning up y'all so if I look dirty that's why I um tell her dock her and get back on my meds and I was like you could have done that here and I know I be trying not to be selfish in the situation but I can't help but to think that like you could have done that here like if you really feel like you needed to go to a facility and be around your family you should have done that you shouldn't have let a therapist talk you out of that so it started making me feel like, did you just say that so that I wouldn't feel so bad about you leaving? Because if you left to go to an in-house facility, how did you let one conversation in five minutes somebody talk you out of it that easy? And I was like, and you're comfortable with that? And she was like, well, she's saying that's the best route. Now, what do you feel? But I ain't no wife no more, so I'm going to let her do her. That's not my responsibility anymore. I just feel like... Did, did you play me a little bit, bro? If you just wanted to leave, baby, you, just, you could have just left. <laughs> but I do not play with mental health, so I'm being selfish right now. But I can't help but to think that you can't control your thoughts. You can control how you, well, how you react off your thoughts, but you can't control your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? What y'all think, y'all? Because I'm just like, how 
Because when she left, usually y'all know I put up a fight, I beg, and I, I cry, I slob. And I'm just like, not this time. Baby, no, you, you don't get to keep leaving me. So once the U-Haul was packed up, she like broke down. And that's when she told me everything she's been feeling. And that she's going to the in-house facility. And then one phone call, you let them talk you out of it. Baby, just say you just trying to get away or something. Like, if you've dealt with depression, anxiety, bipolar, anything like that, because she suffers from all three, or if you are a therapist, a psychiatrist, psych, I don't know the difference in who I know. One can prescribe medicine, one can't. Check my ass in the comments. I, I don't mind. I don't mind if I ask. <laughs> All right, guys. So how we looking? We blonde or whatever? Hold on, let me fix us, fix us, let me fix us up. So, I just did a question and answer. It will be its own separate video. Most of them was already answered because I answered them in my last vlog. But now I'm about to do a try on. She in sent over some Valentine's Day pieces. So I want to go ahead and put them in this video and get them out to you guys. So if you like them, you can get them for or on time for Valentine's Day. So let's just do that. All right, guys. So we are about to try some clothes on. You guys know I have my new little corner over here. I need to paint these walls and etc. Because Nicole music stuff was right here maybe replace that plant maybe not it's not that big of a deal to me and that's why i have been trying my clothes on because it's just in my room and easier um but i did say that i'm having a little bit of problems out of light um it's not lit over there so noor sent me over a new ring light guys the box they sent this in was massive. It, you could fit a person in. And I was like, what is that? Open it and it was this in here. This is their newer, thinner light. I will have all of the specs below or scroll them across the screen as I'm showing you guys this stuff. So let's just go ahead and set it up. And thank you, newer, for sponsoring this portion of this video. <laughs> so let's just talk about it. Your light will come with a bag. In case you're a photographer, a makeup artist, a hairstylist, and you want to take it with you on the go, you can just put everything in this bag. There is a strap, and you can just wear it on your shoulder like this. On the bottom right here, there's a zipper, and here's your stand. The stand is adjustable. You just tighten it each level to stop it from going down. There will be a box. In this box, a stand to use a cell phone on a remote the attachment to attach a camera and your cords and of course you have your actual light this one is actually white so it will have to be my try on light so i don't get makeup on it <laughs> and this is how thin it is look at how thin it is it is super thin i have newer ring lights all over my house so i will show you guys the thicker versions as well loosen that up then you tighten it back on. Of course, you take the other end of your plug and put it in your output back here. We're going to take this part right here so that we can put our camera on it. Slide that. Then you just tighten it. Move it a little closer over here on the side. You have your off and on. Can you guys see how we're really, really yellow? You can turn it cool, you can turn it back warm. Of course, we all like cool, clear, crisp light, and you can turn it up or you can turn it down. And now you guys can see the difference of having great lighting. So let me turn it down. Let's turn it back up. This is if you want it warm. Who wants warm? We love cool, right? <laughs> so guys, I came in here so I can compare the newer thin, newer light to the one I use for my makeup videos. Oh my gosh, it's so much thinner. It's almost paper thin. That's the difference. So of course, I will make sure I link it below along with any discount code that they will provide me. Check newer out, you won't regret it. All right guys, just know before we go any further, everything I talk about is always linked below the video. And my new Shein code is below the video as long, 
as well as my old one. I don't, they gave me a new one. Use whichever one that works for you. This is the first number. It's a little low in the front. It's like a little drooping effect in the front. You're not supposed to wear a bra with it, but baby, if I wear no bra with we gonna air the whole Dallas, Texas out, okay? Um, it has a belt. I really don't feel like it needs a belt. Honestly, do it need a belt? Like, hold on. Let's make it look presentable. It don't need a belt. See, that's cute like that. I probably would pin it right here, y'all. It's cute like that. It's satin. And we're going to rock out like that. Y'all, I'm on my favorite dress with the two slits on the side. This is almost just like that, except it's short. The back does crisscross and it's out, so I'm not going to turn around. But because I'm looking like a busted can of biscuits today, we're going to work on that back. But it's really, really cute for Valentine's Day. I can see myself rocking this on a cute little date, lunch or something. Or nighttime, sure. Do what you want, child. It's really, really cute. My most recent vlog, I showed you guys this in purple. Loved it so much. Got it in black, honey. It, what is going on with my breast today? Like, all this is supposed to be out? I guess so. I've been on my little velvet number numbers lately. It's really, really cute. Everybody can use a cute little black dress. <laughs> <laughs> this is too cute for Valentine's Day. Now, I would wear the, I ain't gonna tell you, I ain't gonna tell y'all. By the way, everything is an extra large. I just killed some Fuel City, so I am a little bloated right now. Two pounds up since the new year. Eating and sleeping in his bed, so it's time to get up. So, yeah. Cute little dress for the occasion. Honey, <laughs> I look like Marilyn Monroe, dying or not. <laughs> so this is my favorite dress with the slits. It's in white now. I got red, green, or had red, green. Got a pinky purple one, and now I got the white one. Child, all I need is the black one. This is too cute. I look so Marilyn Monroe to me with like the white dress, the blonde hair. I wear this dress all the time, so y'all already know the vibes. Love this dress, baby. It just be flowing when I be. <laughs> as I walk through. Okay, hold on. So also in one of my most recent Shein hauls, I showed you guys a blazer, but it was black. Here's the red one. This would be cute over the heart dress. Don't button or anything, just a cute little blazer to put on any look. Baby, you can never go wrong with blazers, honey. Get you a lot of them. They can dress the outfit up so dang fast. Got a red number with some pearls, honey. Got the girls out. <laughs> Super cute. Got you some pearls over here. Let's fix this so I can look. We got us a pantsuit, y'all. I got some bling going around here. The side of it is out. Got that little roll right there. But let me tell y'all what confused me. It buttons like shapewear. It has the little, and I don't even have it button right. Child, it's cute though. And it come in red too. I just, hold on. Let me fix it, child. I just didn't want it in red. So that's everything I got from Shein. I will leave the links in the code below. Oh, child, mama is clocking out for the day. I worked my tail off, and this is a Saturday. I gotta work. Y'all know I gotta move around and stay busy. I worked my tail off event. A full dedicated question and answer with a hair review, a try on, a ring light sponsorship. Guess what I'm gonna do? Take my makeup off, take me a shower, lay in this bed and eat it. Where is my child? Oh, it's Saturday at the salon. No, she finna be sad. Her boo leaving. But I'll be back after I get out the shower to let y'all know what scent I'm wearing to bed. And most likely it will be 
I'll test the dossier scent. Um, Crab Apple Blossom did okay today, but it just, I ain't get no compliments. And then, and maybe it's because people were smelling that smell on that jacket like I was smelling, which wasn't funk. It was just like, okay, when your clothes have sat in the closet too long, like it's hard to explain it. So, let me get settled in for the night. And at the shower, here we go. I smell oud. Nope, I smell clove. You couldn't stop working like baby, you still had baby, to. Baby, that dry down too good. I just had to come back and tell y'all that let me get my skin right, y'all, because it is a mess ever since I'm well I'm stressed. I'm stressed. You see what stress what the hell is this right here? What stress do to your face? Yeah, better stop stress. Stress do a lot to your body. You better stop it. I mean, I know that's easier said than done. I think I'm going to take St. Noir off the tray because I did wear it my last vlog. When I went to my friend's after party, I just didn't put that clip. I just didn't take the big bottle. I took the little sample they gave you. Um, It's good. It's good. It lasts all night and it's still on that purple dress too. So, we're not going to even do St. Noir. I'm going to just go and take that off. And so, we still got Grand Sword, Talia. Miss Girl, which I, I did. I did spray some of that today, too. Oh. We just got Grand Soaring to live then. Okay. Good morning from me and Dossier. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. When I say that first of all, let's talk about this. Settled beautifully. Baby, I was almost gonna get this away. I wish to, I would. And it's still on my game. And it is the next day. Okay, Dossier. Um, and this, let me tell you something. The diffuser, I was laying in the bed and I'm like, smelling me. I kept smelling the most beautiful scent. I'm like, what is that? I'm like, I need to find out what it is because it's something I need to be wearing every day and I couldn't figure it out. I was smelling the sheets. I was smelling I was like, what is it? I got up and went to the restroom. Boy, oy, oy. If y'all don't get that diffuser, I'll link it below. Y'all know I got a discount code. Too good. Too good. Let me see do it smell like lost cherry though. Hold on. Oh, that smells so freaking good. Wow. I love it. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, I'm going to talk about this real quick because I did add it yesterday to this. So, it's not a need to. I might wear it to bed tonight, honestly. Um, whew, Pressure. It's only like $30. It actually smells just like that diffuser. Oh, this smells so good. He does. They did a great job with this. It is a mixture. It smells like Paul Reacts, Love Baccarat, and Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So he mixed the two scents together and created Miss Gal. And it's it, Miss Girl. Why well, is Miss Gal? It's too good. I'm, I actually need to get sugar bottle. I told her I would. And did. So, um, and like I was saying last night, say Noir, if you have a Joie by Latafa, it gives the same freaking vibe. I'm not going to even review it because um, because I wore it in Houston. It came with this. And it lasts. It did its thing. It did its thing. So, maybe I'm eating some beefaroni. So, let me give me a whole bottle of water because I got to take a whole bottle of water after I eat this. But I love beefaroni, bro. I love me some beef with Update. I'm watching Pretty Bree MUA. That's my girl, y'all. Shop her Mahi collection. The 
flowers came off of both nails. I hate this 3D butterfly. It got caught up in my hair 50,000 times while I was doing my hair, but they don't have anything to do with the nails. But if you get these nails, you're going to focus. If you get these nails and they have these extra jewels, put the glue on the jewels too so they don't pop off. Um, I wanted to show you guys this. I'm super excited about this. Um, I was asked to be on a panel for Instagram. Hey, where I put it? So I'm super excited to see where they take me. 2024, come on, go ahead, start off real, real good, honey. So I am. This is the email, but trust me, I ain't got no reason to lie to y'all. Um, that's super exciting for me. I was like, the same person y'all deleted their account for no reason. Y'all want on y'all panel now? I do it though. <laughs> And it was one more thing I had to tell you guys. Um, also, guys, please, please, for me and any other person going through grieving, separation, divorce, if they don't bring it up, it's no need for you to bring it up. <laughs> I can post a picture, a headshot, and be like, shop Nikki's hair. And y'all be like, I know you going through a lot. Hang in there. Don't, don't let her leave me. Like, where did that come from? I wasn't even thinking about it. Like, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Stop that, please. So, Suge over here experimenting. They looking mighty good. You think they gonna be spicy, spicy? Why you make them so damn spicy? Baby, baby. You looking like the booty and ball. Here's the ultimate test. Y'all know I ain't supposed to be eating this. First of all, hot Cheetos. Then booty in it. You taste it. I just did Bag, bag. I'm going to do like on TikTok. But I bust it open first. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it smell hot. Oh, my stomach already hurt. <laughs> what, <Wait>, girl? <laughs> Just waiting. Baby, that is too good. Oh, baby, thank you. You need the thank dipping you. sauce. I don't even know what the sauce is. Nacho right. cheese? Oh, it is. Mm. Oh, we got some. Hey guys, I had to take the blood. <laughs> Ooh, that blood gonna get me in trouble, but now nah, in actuality, it's money to be made and I gotta do another hair review. So, I just wanted to come on real quick because I have been trying to tell my story because I want to control my narrative. When other people don't know what's going on, they speculate, they make up stuff, and nah, baby, why you, you ain't got to do all that. I'm telling y'all myself what is going on. So in the midst of me doing all that, that is transitioning to Nicole being brought up a lot because clearly that was my spouse for 14 years. And that's not what this is about. My thing is, if you have a anything and you want to discuss me, you can talk about me till you blue in the face. Because really, that don't. I've been getting talked about for years. But when you start bringing stuff up about Nicole or saying I'm telling her business or saying, oh, how could you put her out there like that? There is nothing. I there is nothing I have said in the last two weeks that is not already out here. Maybe you just haven't been watching me. There is nothing I've said. Every every single thing I've brought up about mental health, about a situation, about her family, my family, has already been discussed. Especially like when her sister passed away and I was explaining why I didn't want to go to that. Nothing is new. It might be new to you because you haven't been watching me. But my true plat brats know all this stuff already. So I said all that to say that now I'm going to try to exercise my voice to get my story out here and encourage other people that like if something is timed out and no longer serving you purpose to move on but without mentioning the code which is hard to do because hello that's what this whole thing is about and that's what got us here is 
my marriage but um i just it's just hard you know um when you trying to tell your healing story how can you tell your healing story without telling what hurt you you get what i'm saying and um as of right now i'm kind of like bipolar with this issue because one minute i'm like really really angry and then the next minute i understand this is all still raw emotion so if i change my mind about something if i say something different if i said something and now i'm not standing on it that's because it was raw emotions when i was talking about it the first time or i talked to nicole and we got an understanding or um that's just natural reaction even kids do that why my daddy not coming to pick me up well that's just a natural reaction but i have to realize that the internet is a very vulnerable place nicole does not watch my videos so i don't have to worry about that but like somebody even just left a comment it was like how are you healing and y'all still talk every day i don't know what the world has conditioned y'all to and that's weird because a lot of y'all are grown but just because someone is no longer serving a purpose in your life in a certain way don't mean they're not supposed to be in your life at all. I've said a million times that that is like my best friend. And if this marriage don't work out, we still going to be friends. Now that I'm standing on business about that, there's an issue. It's going to be an issue regardless. When I was at, on trips and vacations and clubs and having fun and she was just sitting there, there was an issue. She don't want to be with you. She not having fun. Why is she looking like that? I'm sitting up here telling y'all now why she was looking like that. That wasn't me. Now it's an issue. Oh, you telling all her business? Jesus. Goodness gracious. And it really isn't telling her business because when we came back from Monet wedding last uh, year, we sat at the pool with this white cop and his son and talked about her starting her own mental health channel. It's not a mystery, guys. So, listen, like I have been saying, if you suffer from mental health, talk to somebody, get help, guys, because... I never knew that she was struggling to that extent, but that is not my fault. I am struggling as well. So if me telling my story is helping y'all, I'm going to tell my story. If you don't want to hear my story, just click out or ask a question. Don't assume anything about me. I am that person that will straight out tell you. You don't have to assume. You don't have to go to no gossip pages. You don't have to do none of that. None of that. Why would you have to do any of that when I'm telling my own story? It's like writing my own book. So anyway, I have been so stress-free and happy lately. My mood is better. I'm not irritable. I'm not mean. I'm not cranky. And ain't nobody finna take me back there, y'all. It's like when I was coming out here cranky and sick every day. Oh, I can't do her. Oh, she. I'm so sick of her talking about this. And then two, three vlogs, I'm actually peaceful and happy. Y'all got a problem with that. So, what that tell y'all? What lesson we finna learn from this? Do you? What lesson we about to learn from this, y'all? It don't matter. Child, they talked about Jesus Christ. I am not an exception. But what you're not gonna do is lie. <laughs> you're not gonna lie. You're not gonna make up stuff. You're not. You're not. And you're not gonna call me insensitive because I'm telling my story. I don't give a damn what y'all think. Me and Nicole talk every day. How y'all know I'm not running this by Nicole first? Y'all, y'all. Sorry. I'm so sorry. But I have just been in such a good headspace lately. Because imagine just being held down and tied down. Y'all could even dance around Nicole. Well, sit down. Like, and now I could just freely be me. And then y'all got a problem with that too. And when I say y'all, I'm speaking directly to the people who got a problem because clearly they're watching. So I'm just going to keep doing this hair review and my makeup and try to get back to a happy space, y'all. I have timed out the last few days and just did me off camera. <laughs> um, that's why I said I had to take that blood hair off. I did have a flare, but that's my fault because, child, 
my stomach and stuff haven't been bothering me because I'm in a better space. And so I have been just wilding out eating and stuff. And I did have a gastric flare that it didn't, I'm used to them now. So it didn't keep me down like they used to. But child, it, it, yeah, that heartburn and stuff was about to take me the fuck out. I was like, ooh, girl, you forgot. My stomach said, calm down, little mama. We ain't back on track like that. And gave me some uh, heartburn and indigestion and all that kind of stuff that be on the Pepto Biz, my commercial girl. So let's finish this hair review. Love y'all. Thank, thank you for your support. The positive, oh, definitely I weighed a bag. I probably had two negative comments. In my comment section. Now, I can't control what going on in uh, other people's comment sections and stuff. And the good definitely outweigh the bad. It's going to be a lot of up and downs in this. I'm not a robot. I'm a human just like y'all. When y'all go through stuff in life, imagine some a whole crowd of people standing there judging how y'all react to everything. Oh, gosh. I need to give me a new liner. It's skipping because it's old. And I got 50 of these. I mean, come on. Have some grace, y'all. Have some freaking grace. God knows it's been plenty of time you've been dealing with exiting a relationship or something. And you did something dumb. And then like that night or the next day, you like, <laughs> I ain't have to do that. Oh my gosh, I'm not, I'm not going to recover from that. Oh wow, why did I say that? Yeah, I'm going to have those moments too. This is our freshness, raw emotion. And don't tell me to turn the camera off. I am 43 years old. I'm a grown woman. I can do what I want to do. If this is what I choose to do, instead of letting y'all gossip about it and make up false assumptions and stuff, I can do it. I really just got to realize people go insert their opinion. And it's one thing to have an opinion, but to just flat out like, <laughs> y'all knew the half of what I'm dealing with over here. Y'all do. Child, I forgot I still had one whole auto wing, but it's like my cousin wrote me the other day. It's a cousin I used to club with and be with all the time, but she moved away. And she uh, she was like, Nikki, you know for being a funny, comedian, hyper, dancing, turn, get it done, party starter. She said, I started to not even recognize you anymore. Exactly. It's, it's sad that, like, I've lost a whole mother and everything and nothing has drugged me as low as this marriage. So if I want to exit out of it productively, let me do that. <laughs> Please. It's like, why would you want to be missing when people are trying to heal? Like, I don't give a dang what stuff look like. Ain't nobody disrespecting the cold. Ain't nobody, like... Jesus Christ. Yeah. Stop it, please. Yeah, we too grown for this. So this is this is not kids that's doing this. My daughter is 18 and her click don't even act like this. Come on now, please cut it out. Alright, y'all, the blood is off. Got us a bus down 20. Is it eight or six? I'm gonna go on with this Kylie hair mist. Electum is about to release a hair mist. I'm like, bring it. But I'm ready. This is actually deja vu white flowers. But it don't smell like the deja vu white flowers perfume in my eyes. I actually want this back like that. Let's get us a perfume. We're gonna go to Leah, honey. Go big or go home. This set, I had this same exact set on Thanksgiving and you guys loved it. It was brown. This is like a or olive green. This is a two piece set, y'all. It is a two piece. I don't have no shape wrong. See, this and crab apple blossom, I had them on my 
wish list for the longest and now that I have them they just not giving me what I thought they was gonna give me let me add some see crab apple blossom and Talia are both 400 plus and for me to be like mm, they not giving me what I thought they gave me because I had samples I won't buy them y'all maybe crab apple blossom if you can find it on sale or something but when I'm gonna go back in with this $39.99 Miss Gal that I love this is so good Oh, it smells so good. Hey guys, so I was super excited because I'm just driving up the freeway and ran smack into my friend Billboard, the same friend who just invited me to the headshot mixer the other day. If you guys didn't know, I don't even know if I explained, I don't remember, but she um like had an event where she like hit up the elite people in Dallas, professionals, to where we could do free headshots and network. So it was invite only. But anyway her fiance surprised her with a billboard for christmas and i'm just randomly driving up the freeway i never ever come this way unless i'm going to the outlet i'm randomly driving up the freeway and i'm talking to nicole and i'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh and nicole is like what is going on i'm like there go my free billboard so i didn't get to catch it on on um, camera i wouldn't have been able to catch it anyway because i would have to get the camera turn it around slow down i'm driving make sure i'm safe and all that um, girl, my face getting fat. I need to stop eating. Um, and yeah, but I'm super proud of her. I'll insert it right here because I do have a video and a picture of it. And I'm so proud of you, Rhonda. Like, I can't remember exactly how I met her. Yeah, I do, but I don't want to just. I met her. She was working for my friend. I want to say she did me a facial. Maybe she did. And then she took a one on one class with me. Very sweet young lady. And I'm super, super proud of you, babe. So check her out if you're in Dallas. She do facials. She want to do me a back facial. That's, it's not called a facial if it's a back. A back shoe? I don't know. But bitch, do you not see these rolls and shit on my back? Baby, no ma'am. Baby, no ma'am. They ain't getting all up unless somebody get up. Okay, bye, y'all, bye. Well, looky, looky. We done found us a Bucky's. Do I need anything? Nope. But who gonna pass up a Bucky's? If y'all didn't know, Bucky's is known for having the cleanest bathrooms in the world. It's the biggest gas station in the world. The snacks and stuff be good. I talk about them every vlog, but y'all, they pay so good. I'm looking over at this thing, but I gotta, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything, but I do have to pee, so let's go. And I'm gonna try to look for that cup. I know it's like a lost cause because I saw one, I ain't gonna even talk about her, with her dirty Crocs, who had 12 of them in her basket. But, um, Let's go, because I got to urinate. Yeah, I didn't even take the camera because um, y'all have seen Bucky's 500 times and they didn't have what I wanted, so I just used the restroom and left. Um, I'm going to stop by this dispensary that I'm a partner with. I might take y'all with me, because go buy some. <laughs> go buy some. Y'all want to go? Oh, oh wait, can I show this on her? I'm scared, y'all. Golly, you you're encouraging drugs. <laughs> um if I can I will. Actually, what time is it? I might not today. I might show y'all on the way out.
this portion of my vlog will be sponsored by Chop Top. Yes, Choctaw is a casino. They have many locations. The one that is closest to me is in du is it Durant? Durant, Oklahoma. It's about an hour and some change outside of Dallas. If you guys have been following me, you guys know I have been frequenting. I have been coming to this place since 2015. Birthday, anniversary, just because. Fourth of July. Just because. And... I love it. If you want that Vegas feel, but don't want to fly and all of that, hop in your car. If you're close to Dallas, of course, <laughs> hop in your car about an hour and 30 minutes and you're at Choctaw. This is the brand new spa tower. Ooh, nope. The spa tower is my favorite tower. This is their brand new tower, which I've only been in one time before, two years ago for my anniversary. And... Uh, we're just gonna explore the whole casino, all right? I'm gonna try to get some spa time in. I'm gonna go eat really quick. Um, I am going to go out to eat tonight. And yeah, I just love it here. There's a district with a movie theater, a game room, a bowling alley. They have new restaurants here now that I'm super excited about. There's already a steakhouse. There's a guy, um, how do you, there's a guy, from the Food Network, his restaurant is here, and a lot of other stuff. So y'all ain't gonna talk too much. <laughs> Let's go. Although I'm only staying one night, I'm still gonna unpack. This is my totem carry bag. I have the matching backpack. Love the quality of this, y'all. The light purple one went on sale. Child, why I was gonna buy, and I was like, put that card up. Because why I barely use this one and got a Louis duffel bag and a whole bunch of other stuff. But yeah, I just love purple. So I brought my blanket because if I want to go down there and gamble tonight, um, it gets cold in the casino. This is a Makeup by Platinum um, blanket. I did bring this just in case. I'm trying to see which part of the room I want to keep clean in case I want to take pictures in here. I did bring my robe because I plan on going to the spa. And I'm just gonna wear my robe to the spa because it's a new spa. And I did come down. I did bring a swimsuit too. Of course, I brought the um matching house shoes. That robe and stuff, and the shoes are Versace. And yeah, basically one outfit to wear to the steakhouse tonight in my pajamas. Face beat. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, look, look, look. That girl face beat beat now. Come on, automatic light. Guys, comment below and tell me to help Choctaw out. What are some things at hotels that you feel like is unnecessary, like they can do away with? In my opinion, laundry. Girl, who be getting their laundry done at a hotel? Let me tell y'all what I highly regret. I highly, highly regret not bringing a crossbody bag. I do not have a crossbody. Ooh, this gonna make my life hard to carry this camera and my phone and get content on both. <sighs> what was I thinking? All right, guys. So I didn't tell you guys here, but um, I was also um, accepted into the let's see what it's called YouTube Brand Connect, where I can be accepted for brand deals directly through YouTube. Both of them might seem kind of small to y'all, but to me, I'm celebrating all wins. Um, I'm super proud of myself for keeping it pushing and keeping it going and working. And so I just can't stop looking at myself. My makeup looks so damn good. I hope it look good when I edit. 
like face wise london if you watching this y'all know my attention span short we'll get back on it thank you for recommending that Too Faced foundation baby we're gonna do a side by side with my estee lauder because it's kind of giving it a run for his money all right so i'm back to personality number one um yeah because you know in this influencer world you just every other day you're like is this for me should i find something else should i keep going and it's like the little things are aligning and sh showing me that i'm still very much relevant all right let's go get something to eat and explore this new tower all right guys there is an on-site starbucks so guys they have a gift shop in well this is not a gift shop this is a store and look what they got is this the one with the C's on it? No, this is the plain one. I got a compliment, by the way. I'm testing this fragrance out, so you said it smells good, right? Which one? I said I'm testing oh. this fragrance out, so you... Oh, yes. It is beautiful. <laughs> you get it, and I, I was like, okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. So, yeah, look, they got some vintage pieces, guys. This is 11000 Y'all know Chanel. The price has increased and so the resale value has to increase as well. But they do have this option if you come here and you want to shop. So guys, she was super nice in there. I'm technically on a low buy <laughs> until I figure out my life. So I got the heck up out of there before I saw some I like. So I'm looking for the district, not the prism lounge. I, I low key know where I'm at, but I don't. So really cameras aren't allowed in the casino, but I'm here working so I can pull mine out, but I don't want to get anybody. So I'll be back. So guys, this is the old district. It has the crispy chicken, Papa John's and smash burger in here. But we're looking for the new food. Here's if you want to bring your kids. Yes, they have stuff for kids. So you can gamble. You can go bowling with your kids. There's a movie theater. And there is also a game room. So, so while I'm right here and there aren't any people here and I can talk, they do have the old casino and they do have the new casino. Yes, the new casino does have a smoke-free section because a lot of people used to complain about that. So make sure you check that out. All right, guys. So I left my card at home. So I'm going to get a rewards card to gamble with because that's how you get your free rooms and your free plays. I hate I had to waste their plastic, but I got a card. And they're having hot seat drawings. Every hour, you can win up to $5,000. So here is the other district that's in the newer part. There is a velvet taco, a barbecue place. There's a south side hot chicken place. You have slushies right here, like daiquiris and etc. And let's see what this is over here in the corner. It's like a deli. Barbecue. Yeah, Baby, now I was trying to go in a room at one mine. I was like, I heard some people talking about the door, and I looked like, oh, this ain't even my room. Child, let's just have a swig. What is this sauce that come? I used to get, look like caramel. This cake from Nicole all the time. She is a big red velvet lover. Don't sleep on it, and velvet taco. Y'all, I gotta go to the spa, and it's all on the other side, so let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. When I tell y'all, I'm not lying when I say this. They got top notch security at the elevator. I wish you would try to get up to one of these rooms and you don't have one. They're going to be like, <laughs> I ain't even playing. I'm like, sir. <laughs> but I just be wanting to get a little taste. Let's go. I just want to show y'all this because, of course, the pool is cold because it's winter. Is it winter yet? But, um, yeah, they have a great pool. I can't wait to come back in the summer. They got family cabanas, lawn cabanas, 
everything. They had an indoor pool. Let me check it out and see if they still got it. Baby, 12 hours later, I'm out of breath and everything. Woo, they need an underground. Them things they got in the airport <laughs> that slide you on over. Let's go. I got another, you smell good. <laughs> All right, guys, really quick. Now I'm in the hot tub. This is the women only section. You can get nude in here. They only see all they don't. Oh, it ain't cameras in here. But yeah, they only see all that. But um, the side I just came from was co ed. So if you come with your boo, um, y'all need to be over there. It's warm, but over here it's females only. It's not really hot. I thought it was gonna be extremely hot. That's why I didn't want to come over here. I wouldn't dare go in that steam room, shall I die? That'd be a good way to test this foundation though, huh? <laughs> so I'm just gonna sit here, drink my water, let this heat hit my back. All right guys, there's a Chinese restaurant right here called Bamboo Noodle Bar. All right guys, there's Guy's Kitchen and Bar. Baby, when I left the sun was out, I had too much fun in that spa. If you're staying here, thirty-five dollars will give you a date pass to the spa. I seriously, seriously, almost got kicked out of the spa because, of course, you're not supposed to have cameras in there. So I tried to sneak a picture, and one of the employees walked in, but she didn't even say nothing. She was snitched to me, snitched on me. Then when the other lady came, I had to show her my little content, my um influencer pass thing and she was like oh well next time just have one of the managers escort you back here when there's nobody in here to get your pictures and stuff well sorry honey but to me it don't look like nobody in here so i didn't think i was gonna need all that but i get it no cameras i mean you can take your phone but it's it's uh signs everywhere that say be courteous because especially in the new part so I got two hours to dinner, child. But y'all know who gonna have to turn up while they getting dressed. <laughs> who gonna have to turn up while they getting dressed. <laughs> and baby, yes. Everybody look at me. Girl, I'm thick this week. I'm going on a die Monday. Look how thick I am. I'm going on a die Monday, baby. I gotta lose 15 pack. I gotta get 15 up off of me. Maybe 20 so I have room to grow on. That's nothing for me. I can lose 10 pounds in a week if I stop playing, stop eating Taco Bell and going to sleep. But I'm gonna put some lip gloss on and see if I can get more pictures in my robe because I got caught. So, of course, I put my camera up because when people say put your camera up, I put it up. I do not play with people and their policies, especially when you're here for work. love them some nuts and stuff if that spa tower wasn't so far i'll go back and get more because this is just this is two different things and i don't pay attention golly i love like nuts and check mix and trail mix type stuff Whew. baby you ain't ready for the turn up or what salute
house, guys. Let's go. Put my hair back. Going down. Yeah, I swear, I almost hit the emergency button, and I swear, I have not been able to get in my phone with my face all day. I don't know what that's about. I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all, there are stairs over there. I wanted my picture by, but they got them marked off with the cones. So let's see if it's somewhere up here. You gotta catch the elevator up. <laughs> Alright guys, so I met one of you guys here Actually the singer um, When I was coming in I was like, oh my gosh, she look like t -Boz. And she spoke But I just thought it was like a Ooh, I said another chocolate girl spoke Then she came over to my table I didn't even get your name, sweetheart But thank you for coming to find me It was great seeing you Y'all sound excellent. I was on the phone with Nicole. I put this on shoe. I had just told Nicole they sound so good and I don't have no cash to tip them. And they came over here. So if that's you, let me know. Cause you've messaged me before because you saw that me and Nicole used to come here all the time and you was like, you work here. But I would never be able to find that message. I should have let her talk on camera. Ugh. I'm off my A game, y'all, but nice meeting you, boo. Gotta scan that key to get up here, my boy. Safety first. Honey, let me tell y'all something. That food was too good. I'm trying to see, do I look too fat to take some more pictures? Cause, <laughs> I got some good ones by the stairs, but I know for a fact it cut my feet off. And who got dog get the camera about to die? Just gonna have to get what we got. <laughs> Gotta put this thing on the charge. And by the way, hold on, let me give y'all a little light. By the way, this foundation has been on since 9 a.m. Am I not flawless? I'm gonna come a little closer. Yeah. Hold on. Baby, that food. Okay, am I repeating myself? Cause that food was too good. Thirteen eighty two. Thir eight. The steakhouse, and it was above. Viewing the, the whole vibe. All right, y'all, my phone and my camera need to be charged, so. Talk to y'all in a minute. I just thought about some. If I would've had to pay for that, salmon, a baked potato, and a cup of wine was $70. I could've made groceries with that, like the Louisiana people say. I ain't have to pay for it though, so, but. <laughs> Getting up on this red velvet cake. Mm. Y'all know we leave and what we came in, right? Yeah, this is a fantastic stay. I'm about to go downstairs and gamble though before I officially leave. I just have to check out the room. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I was wrong. It's H E double hockey stick, honey, cause this Talia strong. That's all I smell. Oh my gosh, and it smells so good. This dry down. So, damn, I have my info on here. Room was comped. I smell good. I was trying to go hit big. Oh, that's a little good. Oh, that's a little good. 
Let me tell y'all something about the internet. It really be having me messed up because the only thing I can think about right now, charge your lunch is ready. They hate no me. Come on, Miss Nella. Charge your lunch is ready. She needs to have me in the video. I'll be like, uh, y'all be hating on Miss Nettle, but uh, but uh, clearly she got them. <laughs> Charge your lunch is ready. They hate no you. I'ma tell y'all this, y'all know I got shoulder issues. All my duffels and stuff need to have wheels on them. But if I ain't got no boo, that's gonna be like, baby, let me get that. <laughs> I need some I can roll. Cause this mug right here is of such great quality that it's heavy on its own. Baby, add product to it. Chaff. Chaff. I be beat down by the time I get to my destination. Baby, this tray was the one, not the two. <laughs> 